Praisers and Savers. Hey, Praisers and Savers. We're here with, what's your name? Connor. Connor and Sandy. And today, this video is going to be a little bit different than videos I've done before. We're actually going to be teaching you guys about coupon specifications. Now, when you go to the store, of course, you're going to have your manufacturer coupons. And I'm going to put some images of these um, a little bit closer up on the screen so you can see them. But this is a Colgate uh, coupon. Of course, when you go to the store, you always want to make sure that your date is in date. You don't want to ever use coupons that are out of date. Yes, they might scan and they might be fine, but that's coupon fraud. And we don't want to use coupons that are out of date. So another thing that is on here of your coupon is they want to make sure that you read everything on the coupon. So this is a coupon for a dollar off Colgate toothpaste. Well, it says on any Colgate total, optic white, en enamel health system zero, or with charcoal or hemp seed oil toothpaste, 3.0 ounce or larger. So you can't get you can't use toothpaste that are smaller than that. Even though if it works, you're still not supposed to do that. That's coupon fraud. But what I want to point out of them, what this specification is at the top is what the fine print says at the bottom. Now, earlier, Connor and I went to, where did we go earlier, Connor? We went to Kroger. Kroger. And do you know why we went to Kroger? Mm -hmm. we, went with we, my we went with his, his nanny, uh, Linda, because she was wanting to learn how to coupon, and um, Kroger has the Mega 5 deal. Do you know about the Mega 5 deal? What was the Mega 5 deal? Do you remember? So, what the Mega 5 deal is at Kroger is, um, if you buy, buy five of the participating items, you get a dollar off of each of those items, so it's on and then you can use the coupon. So, um, one of the deals was for the Colgate toothpaste. Well, I was so excited because the Colgate toothpaste was on the Mega for $1.99. And then I had a dollar off coupon, which made a tube of Colgate toothpaste. How much? Was two dollars minus one dollar? One. one. Yeah! It made it. It made it actually ninety nine cents. It made ninety nine cents for the Colgate toothpaste. So I was so excited. So I started reading it, and it says limit one coupon per purchase of the product. So we had the product and the coupon, so match it up. But you could use no more than four of these. So I could use four of these coupons. And get four tubes of toothpaste. Now, I could not go and use five of these coupons and get five tubes of toothpaste because that would be coupon fraud. You have to listen to what the coupon says. So read the fine print. This was limit of four on this coupon. So I'm going to put this coupon up on the screen so you can see it a little bit closer. Um, and then we went and got some oatmeal. Now, oatmeal is a great thing that you can add to your food bank. Now, this was the oatmeal. The box of the oatmeal, and this was also on the mega deal. Do you remember that? The oatmeal was on the mega deal as well? Yeah, you remember that? Okay. So the oatmeal, the boxes of oatmeal were on the mega deal as well. I can't remember exactly how much they cost after the mega deal, but I want to say they maybe were $1.50 per box. Pretty sure they were $1.50 per box. So, um, we were going to get um, the box of oatmeal. With well, this coupon, it's actually a dollar off two boxes of the oatmeal. So, if they were $1.50 and I had to buy two to use the coupon, it would make the oatmeal $3 for both boxes. A dollar off coupon comes off, so it would be $2 for two boxes of oatmeal, which makes them each a dollar. So, a dollar for a box of oatmeal to give to the food bank is awesome. And I also eat oatmeal. The kids don't eat it, but I do. So, we're getting all this oatmeal, and it goes in our stockpile until we're ready to take to, to the food bank. Food bank. Yep, we're going to stock up, and we're going to take a lot of things to the food bank when it gets to be holiday. And who are these pull ups? These are diapers. Oh, diapers. These are for the baby, and I forgot to give it to him for my brother's uh, baby. Well, if y'all have a toddler, get it. Yes, yeah, that's right. Pull your chair. So, this coupon, Connor, so so this coupon was a dollar off two boxes of oatmeal. And I saw, I read the coupon. It was like limit one coupon per purchase item. Yeah, we did that. So, we all, you know, we had the, the items. But there was no limit on how many times I used this coupon. So, if I had, you know, 
five of these coupons, I could use all five of them. Well, even if it doesn't have the specifications on it, you do need to know the coupon policy of your store. Now, Kroger's coupon policy is... Right? How many boxes of oatmeal did we end up getting? A week. <laughs> I think we ended up getting eight boxes of oatmeal, right? Mm -hmm. And we could actually go back and buy some more because I have more coupons that I found in my binder. Did you get hurt? Yes. Oh, silly. Now, this is something I want to make sure we are we specify. Now, do you remember how much the Suave was at the store? I was so excited about it. Do you remember? Three. It was a dollar ninety nine. Right. Ah. So the suave. That's not right. That's not right. I think it is. No. So the suave and Connor got to pick out what he likes because he likes he likes to pick out his flavors is what we call them his flavors. You do. I do. Okay. So the suave hair care. Um. Well, the suave any of the suave products. Um. This one was particularly was just a dollar ninety nine. Was a dollar ninety nine, but. The coupon states a dollar fifty. I know it's backwards. A dollar fifty, but it says for the Suave Men hair care product. Now the way we got around this was they have the uh, three in one hair, so it was shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So that is a hair care product. So the Suave Men three in one um, mm -hmm. hair and body wash. Was a dollar ninety nine. Well, this coupon is for a dollar fifty. So I was able to get each bottle for forty nine cents. Oh my gosh, forty nine cents for a dollar. And these are a dollar. Yep, those are a dollar. So, but I was so excited. But the problem was two things. The date ran out today, so what? I had to use them today. So I have some leftover. Don't use them. But also, it says on here that you can only use two identical coupons in that transaction. Got it, Connor? Only two. So, how many, box of how many bottles of that Suave Men did we buy? A lot. We bought <laughs> the Suave Men, we bought two. Yours was another Suave that we got. But the Suave Men, we only were able to buy two because it specifies on the coupons, you use only two identical coupons. We're gonna listen to that because we're not gonna have coupon fraud. We're not gonna have what, Connor? We're not going to have coupon fraud. We're not doing that. Um, are you hooking my stuff up? No, I'm making a fan. Are you making a fan? Thanks. I needed that fan. So, this is just a rundown on some of the things that I wanted to make sure I pointed out that you read on the coupons. Um, the last thing is the dates. Now, we've already talked about dates a little bit. But the problem with coupon dates is when I first started couponing, you know, I have my, I have my binder. Um, there's my binder, there's my coupon binder, and I always have my coupon binder with me. Um, I still do. Oh, nice, nice air there. Oh, Arctic air. Um, the problem was now, not before, when I first started couponing, coupons would last six months to a year. So I started couponing over 10 years ago, and they lasted, yeah, I've been couponing for 10 years. Yeah, I know, really. So, no. coupons would last a long time, six months to a year. And so, I would keep my coupons in my binder. And they were all good, and I would have them forever and ever and ever, and they didn't expire. Well, because more people are couponing these days, coupons expiration dates don't last as long. So, you'll see usually your coupons, when you get them, last either that week or for that month. That's it. You usually don't see coupons last more than a month anymore. And so, all the coupons that I actually got last week are going to expire within two weeks. So be mindful of your coupon expiration dates. Just don't clip them and stick in your purse. Say, oh, I do it later. You know, once you clip them, once you get them, you need to head to the store. Get your deals. So don't forget that. All right, guys. So this has been um, Sandy and what's your name again? Okay, Leonard. Oh, Kaylin and <laughs> This has been Sandy and Connor, and we are Praiser and Saver. Praising and saving. All right, guys, please make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, check out our Facebook and our Instagram page. All Over right. now. What's that? Over now. I don't, I don't want to end the video. You don't want to end the video? No, I want to do more. I'm showing them all the okay. coupons. Okay. You want to show them all the coupons? Yes. All right, you show them. You got like 10 seconds. You can show them all the coupons. 10 seconds? 10 seconds to show them all the coupons.
for praisers and savers. Like our YouTube channel, subscribe, Facebook, and in Instagram. And like me. And let's get over 200 views. Yes, we got to have over 200 views. Okay. And the last video, get over 200. How many views do we have in our last video together? 83? A 89. Well, because you're so cute. That's why. Ew. You're I'm adorable. Not. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next Wait, time. Oh. That's one. <laughs> That's two.